Now, there are a few more settings to do to get um, the perfect synchronization with the um, Git repository and Unity. First of all, what I want you to do is add, add stuff to the Git ignore. So some files in your Unity project do not need to go on the Git repository. Now, if you go to this address, so let me zoom in so that you guys can pause and type it, or just type on Google search for GitHub Unity Git ignore, okay? And uh, that's basically very standard list of stuff that needs to be ignored, that does not need to be given to uh, the repository, such as the uh, solution files, the, uh, the project files, bunch of files that are just no, 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 not needed. So click on raw and then copy all the content, command A or control A and command C to copy. Then go back to your terminal and open the hidden file called the git ignore. So I'm going to use VI, but if you, uh, if you want, you can also go and to your explorer and unignore uh, and unhide all the files and open the git ignore file. So git ignore. All right, as you can see, it's empty. And I'm gonna copy what I just have, command V, all right. And now what I want to do is um, just save that. So I'm gonna press escape the column and then write Q. So that's a uh, right and quit and then I force it. So that forces it, all right. Now you can always make sure that you have everything right by typing a VI git ignore and you will see all your stuff here. All right. Okay, now next thing you wanna do is also go to Unity and load that, that, um, that folder that we just created. So go to um, file and then open project and open the one that's connected to Git. So click on open and locate it. Mine's here, shooter online. Remember I just created it and click on open, all right? Once you have it open, next thing you want to do is go to the editor's settings. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. Click on edit, project settings, and locate the editor right here. Select it. And under the editor on the right side in the inspector, we're going to need to make a couple changes. Nothing too fancy. Look at the um, asset serialization. Click here and put force text. That's one. And that might take some time. All right, and the next thing you want to do is also under the um, version control, select that and click on visible meta files because we need the meta files as well. All right. Okay, so uh, save that, command S, and now let's go back and, and, and push this back to the server. Go back to the terminal and do git add dot. So we're basically adding all the changes. Then git commit slash a slash dash a dash m and then the message. Um, um, just say um, second push or second commit and then git push. All right, and uh, automatically it will send it back to the mainstream, which is the, um, the, the master. And there you go, it's done. All right, so that's it for now.